Well, now let's go through the monopoly firm problem the way we did for the competitive firm. And first, let's think about the monopoly firm's output and price. And I've got just a demand curve here, which I know you're familiar with. Uh, I wanted to draw in the rest of it. Let's, let's say the monopolist has uh, an upward sloping marginal cost function the way we've seen before, uh, the cost structures of firms. We've seen that before, upward sloping mar marginal cost in the short run. Notice what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm analyzing the firm's costs in the same framework as the market demand. Remember, for the competitive firm, I had to do that side-by-side -side thing. But now that it's monopoly, I can analyze the firm and the market together because the monopoly firm is the only firm, and it faces the entire market demand. So that's, that's something different right off the bat. All right, well, let's keep going with that, uh, that example then. All right, so we've got this monopoly marginal cost. Let me change colors just to show the marginal revenue in a different color. With a, I've got a straight line demand curve, so my marginal revenue graphically is a line that has the same y-intercept but is twice as steep. And now I'm ready to go. Notice that uh, at least I'm ready to talk about output and price. The next slide will talk about um, monopoly profit. All right, now um, changing my pen to a pointer. Notice that the marginal revenue tells us the benefit of producing one more unit of output. The marginal cost tells us the cost of producing one more unit of output. So as long as the marginal revenue is greater than the marginal cost, that firm wants to increase output. Marginal benefit, marginal revenue, greater than marginal cost, increase output. Marginal revenue, greater than marginal cost, increase output. Where do we stop? We stop when it's a tie. Where, where marginal revenue is just equal to marginal cost. And that is the monopoly output. Now we're not done because there's a couple of finer points to worry about here. Call that Q sub M for the monopoly quantity of output. Now, one thing students often do by mistake is just say, oh, the price is equal to marginal cost. That, that's not true. For the monopolist, we read the price off the market demand curve that's the price. One thing I say over and over to the point, I, well, I say many things to the point, over and over to the point of annoyance, but one of the many things I repeat is that John D. Rockefeller did not get rich by charging a price that's equal to his marginal cost. You charge price higher than cost, that's how you get rich. So there, here again, monopoly output is where marginal revenue, marginal costs are equal, and we want to know what the price that the monopolist is going to charge for that level of output, we go to the highest price the monopolist could charge and sell that quantity, and that's P sub M, and that's what the that's the price the monopoly charges. So we figured out what price the monopoly will charge and uh, what quantity it will produce. Now it's time to think about monopoly profit. And let's suppose there's an average cost curve in here. Let's suppose it looks like this. Remember that average cost and uh, marginal cost have to intersect at minimum average cost. So I tried to get that right there. Nothing that, no drawing error can't be fixed by making your lines a little thicker. Uh, all right, well, so to, to figure out monopoly profit, that analysis is the, exactly the same for the monopolist as it is for the competitor. You ask, okay, well, what's, what's output is QM? What's average total cost? At QM, it's, we read that off the average total cost curve at QM. So ATCM. Profit, average profit is again the distance between price and average total cost. We've seen that before. And we just count that up over output. We multiply average profit by the output being produced and we get the area of this, this orange rectangle. That's profit. And, and you might look familiar. That's exactly the technique we used for competitive firms when they were making short-run profit. And you're right. It's exactly the same. The difference is output isn't where price is equal to marginal cost. Rather, it's where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. Um, 
what else can I say? Oh, the other thing about monopoly profit is there's no reason to expect monopoly profit to be dissipated over time because there's barriers to entry. That's why it's a monopoly. So um, there are some differences, even though we're still calculating using the same methodology, calculating profit using the same methodology. Made with DoodleCast Pro.